residents in Oak Park cheering as police took away a man who forced them from their homes. He started that standoff and uh, it lasted 14 hours. 10 News reporter Astrid Solorzano is live where this all started. Uh, what happened here? Vanessa, so that man, he had a history of domestic abuse and his mom, she actually lives here at the Harbor Vista Apartments in Oak Park. She had to call police. The standoff lasting 14 hours. Police tried negotiating, but that didn't work. Officers say the suspect's mother called police around 9 in the morning yesterday, telling him she had a restraining order against her son, but he showed up to her home and assaulted her. She had to be taken to the hospital and police arrived shortly after, but the man threatened to kill himself if they tried entering. Now they have to send in a SWAT team, a bomb squad, and crisis counselors. The suspect's friend says it's not like him to act this way. I was worried about him, you know. I was hoping that he was okay. You know, as soon as I found out it was him, it was like instantly. I grabbed my wife, came outside, and was like, let's see if my friend is all right. Now his mother was able to come back from the hospital before the standoff ended. All of this lasted 14 hours and neighbors were able to go home around 11 o'clock last night. Reporting live from Oak Park, Astrid Solorzano, 10 News.